After a university rejected an applicant for admission, a court rejected the applicant's constitutional arguments in Fisher v. University of Texas at Austin. Abigail Fisher applied for admission to the University of Texas at Austin for the fall of 2008. During the admission cycle for Abigail's application, the university used three programs to admit students. First, Texas's top 10% plan guaranteed the top 10% of students graduating from a Texas high school admission to any Texas public university. About 80% of all students were admitted with this program. Because racial segregation persisted in Texas schools, many non-white students were admitted through this program. Second, students with an exceptionally high academic index received admission. The university calculated this figure using standardized test scores, class rank, and rigor of coursework. And third, with a holistic review, the university calculated a personal achievement index with essay scores and a heavy focus on applications. Evaluators awarded points for leadership, work experience, extracurricular activities, and special circumstances. Special circumstance could include an applicant's socioeconomic background, familial responsibilities, or race. No particular value was required for these factors. Then the personal achievement index and academic index scores were combined. Generally, white students received a greater percentage of the admissions offers with holistic review than black or Latino students. Fisher wasn't in the top 10%, and her academic index score was too low for admission on academics alone, so she competed for admission through holistic review. Because of steep competition, even if Fisher received a perfect personal achievement index score, she still wouldn't have received an offer because her academic index score wasn't high enough. Fisher sued the university, claiming the race-conscious admissions program violated her 14th Amendment rights. The district court granted summary judgment for the university. The Fifth Circuit affirmed. Then the Supreme Court granted cert, vacated, and remanded, holding that more exacting scrutiny needed to be applied to the university's diversity efforts. The Fifth Circuit addressed this issue.